Right, let's have a look at some of the more complicated questions you'll see on the test. Now, uh, just go back to the video I just watched and realise it's kind of all about factoring and cancel. I mean, they're deliberately written so they'll factor, you'll do something with um, this particular little expression and somehow it'll cancel with something on the bottom, okay? So remember that. Now, uh, let's have a look at all of these four things. So let's see, kind of one, two, three, four. What can we do with all of them? 3x minus 3, a 3 will factor out, and I'm left with x minus 1, okay? On the bottom, can't really do anything with an x, just leave it. Right, times. Really not much to do here, but I'll tell you one little trick you can do here is, is a 7x squared is a 7, an x, and another x then maybe you'll be able to see that there's an x on top, there's an x on bottom, with no diagonal, okay, but you can kind of cancel one of them off. But also remember this, remember this, when you are dividing with exponents, maybe if I write a little, you subtract, all right? So, you know, remember that, if I've got an x, suppose I've got an x, um, 3 on the top, and an x, 1 on the bottom, okay, that'll leave me with x, 2, okay? But actually, do remember this as well. Supposing I've got an x3 on the top and an x5 on the bottom, then what you really say to yourself is, okay, look, where's there more of them, all right? Where's there more x's? There's more on the bottom. By how many? By two. So you're gonna be left with x2, but on the bottom, all right? And if you need to, if there's nothing left on top, write a one. There you go, that's the answer to that one. x3 over x5 is one over x squared. So just think to yourself, okay, where's there more x's when you're just dealing with the x's? Most of the times you tend to get a lot of these parentheses. Like here I go for this one back up here, okay? So I'm going to get 5 out of that. I'm left with x minus 1. So can you see? Now you can look diagonal at these, okay? Not, not multiply diagonal. Just look and see what's on the top and what's on the bottom. x minus 1. x minus 1. An x. An x. Okay, here's what's left. 3 times 7. So I'm going to cross that one off from there. That's 21. And is that an x on top? And is that a 5 on the bottom? Sometimes just spotting what's left. 3 and 7 is 21. There's an x left there. There's a 5 on the bottom. That looks like the answer. Okay, 21x over 5. Okay. So, um, I'm going to erase some of this. So kind of, you need to pause that and check it. But I need some space for some of this. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'll just erase this and get rid of all this. So remember that's about when you've just got x's and exponents. Not really anything to do with the, uh, the parentheses you have left, but uh, if you've just got some x's there. x squared, x cubed, whatever. Okay, now, um, let's go down to this one. That's just down here. I'm going to do lots of factoring. Right, I can take a 24 out of that one on top of the first one. I should be left with x plus 1. Okay, is that right here? Yeah, looks like I can take a 4 out of it. Think about your factoring. I can divide both these by 4. And what's left, if I divide them by 4, even if you need to, just put a little 4 underneath, you know, there and there. That's going to be 3x minus 1. Okay, 3x minus 1. Hopefully there's another 3x minus 1 on the top somewhere, not right now. Okay, times. Right, 48 and 16. I can take a 16 out of those. All right, and I'm left with... Right, divide that by 16, you know that's the 3x minus 1 as well. And you'll find out that this will happen a lot. You'll go, oh, okay, there it is. I can see a 3x minus 1 on top and a 3x minus 1 on bottom. Get to it later. Right, I can take a 6 out of this bottom one. And if I do, think about it, divide by 6, divide by 6. That's going to give me x squared minus 1. x squared minus 1. Okay, so I've done all the factoring. But have I? Okay, so it looks like 3x minus 1 is going to cancel. There's lots of numbers I can still reduce. That 24 and 4 will reduce, you know, 16 over 6. However you want to do it, I'll come to that later. But look, there's something that people always kind of just don't spot. And if you go back to the factoring I did with special cases, it's the difference of squares. Look what's sneaking in here. The difference of squares. Itchy nose again. Cat hair. Right. Okay, so... I've got to keep, well, actually, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to rewrite it all again. I know that this will become x minus 1, remember? Square root, square root, a 1 plus, 1 minus. Okay, so 
that x squared minus 1 has now become this. Now I can see, look, you see this x plus 1 here on the top? This x plus 1 on the bottom? I'm going to start crossing stuff off right now. That's gone, and that's gone. The 3x minus 1's gone, the 3x minus 1's gone. Okay, now, you can do all sorts of different ways of doing this. I mean, if I just do this right now, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, now watch. There's a 6 on the top, there's a 6 on the bottom. I can see that 16 is left. Right, so far on the top, there's a 16. Right? Uh, what else is on the top? Well, I seem to have crossed out pretty much everything. I can't see anything else. This is some of the problems. You've got to figure out what's left. The only thing I see on the bottom is that x minus 1 here. Look at that. That's still there. Everything else seems to have gone. So it looks like, you know, fingers crossed, that's the answer. 16 over x minus 1. So this is where you really have to look at all the factoring. Look at questions 9 and 10. I'll do those in another video. But you've really got to spot what you can reduce. Okay, what I've factored, cross off what you can see that's similar. Then look at the numbers. Remember, just numbers are like fractions that you might want to reduce. But 24 divided by 4 is a 6. I had that 6 on the top. I've got that 6 on the bottom. They can cancel. All that seems to be left is the 16. Sometimes it's the parenthesis that's easier to cross off and see what's left, that x minus 1. I'll do the other two in another video before I... Yeah, after I strangle this cat.